a big part of 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 that in our in our community is is our sexuality mm-hmm. for sure and um you know one of the things that you you're you know delving into mm-hmm. is, is is um is 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 um sexual psychology well i am aspiring to become a sex therapist right right so i'm currently a licensed clinical social worker which gives me the capability capability mm. to do psychotherapy so i can mm. co- perform individual therapy one on one however it's always good whenever you are a therapist or you do perform therapy to have what's called your niche Mm. And that's you know what a niche is right. basically like your what you're known for. Right. Right, right. And um, when I was doing my when I was in graduate school, I had taken up a sex therapy class and absolutely fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. So that is my my next project to right. go ahead and actually get certified for sure with mm. um, sex therapy to be able to perform that. Right, right. So mm. you know, oh, <laughs> my, my, my bad. But I was just gonna ask, like, could you give us like a general like idea of what a sex therapist is or what sex therapy is in yeah general. i can yeah. so a lot of people when they hear the term sex therapist they mm-hmm. think oh you're just going to talk about sex all the time and a lot of people don't realize that sex is not just the act of intercourse mm-hmm. there's um a lot to do with like intimacy like you can have a lot of intimacy without actual intercourse mm-hmm. so sex therapy kind of piggybacks on you know it's normally when you do sex therapy it's typically couples therapy okay. um so you know you want to make sure that you are well versed in talking to couples or like marriage and family therapy things like that but it's basically like trying to help other individuals work through any blockages mm. that they have because as we know sex is not just black and white yeah mm-hmm. there's so many different components that are a part of it so a sex therapist pretty much helps other individuals work through whatever those blockages are, whether it's the blockages with in themselves or if it's individual and it's going off of some like past trauma mm-hmm. that you want to, you know, process, things like that. Um, you know, also helping people, couples probably primarily work together to improve their sex lives. Mm-hmm. So it, it can be a, a plethora of different things. Okay. So for you nasty people out there who are doing <laughs> something you, else, you pretty much took all she said and just threw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I definitely did. You was like, it's not all about air in the chorus. Here is why. Very, very next sentence for you nasty people. No, I'm saying for you nasty people who thought it was. <laughs> oh my bad. Something else. <laughs> See, you one of the nasty people. <laughs> I am. I am. My bad. He's like, ooh, sex therapy. Because the, mom- <laughs> the moment I found out that, I'm like, yeah, let's get into the nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a little bit of that, but it's it's just it's, it's more more broad. Yeah. Right. I, right. That's actually what I thought because um um with my degree in a in a therapy area like and i'm not gonna say my degree (laughs) y'all but um you know i i did think about i'm like no shoot i never thought of a sex therapist Mm -hmm. and i clearly live under a rock Mm -hmm. but you know i did think you know this might be something that would help someone who has issues with sex who doesn't know how to express themselves sexually Mm -hmm. because it is a form of expression too Mm -hmm. and um yeah Yeah, no, when I took the course, we learned about everything. There was nothing that was, like, held out. So Mm -hmm. not even just, you know, heterosexual. We learned a lot about other, you know, genders Mm -hmm. and how they probably may transition and things like that. You learn about everything. You learn about BDSM. You learn about, you know, fetishes, kinks. You learn about all of that. How uncomfortable Mm -hmm. does it get in the classroom when Um, that comes up? (laughs) I I will not lie. That was my absolute favorite class of undergrad. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. No, of graduate school. My favorite class. Absolute Mm -hmm. favorite class. Sounds very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Favorite class. Because when you talk, you're talking about BDSM and all that, like, that's, those are taboo conversations, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so to be someone who's versed in that and understand that, you know, that's, that's a that's an asset for sure what what are some things you wish we as a community would stop like saying or like our things that are <laughs> like how let me I'm, I'm i'm probably not framing the question right okay take your time like what are some aspects or some mentalities in our community that you wish that that you think are holding us back as a whole as a whole like in terms of in terms of that like sexuality stuff like that i think that a lot of times 
and your friends. A lot of times, people are so engrossed mm-hmm. in the perception of how they're going to be perceived. Mm-hmm. You know? Right, right. I would love for people to be able to just be themselves, whether it's alone mm-hmm. or with a partner mm-hmm. or, you know, a group of people, because, you know, mm-hmm. group sex is a big thing now, too. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if we could just let go the self shame. Right. Because it's not yeah. just shame when you're with, let's say, for example, you want to try something new with your partner mm-hmm. and you don't know how your partner is going to perceive it. So you have shame behind that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it doesn't just go that far. It could be like you have shame mm-hmm. behind yourself. There's a lot of people who they may, you know, watch porn or masturbate and mm-hmm. they, based on how they were reared or how they grew up, they have a lot of shame in that as well. Mm-hmm. I would love for people to let go of that, let go of shame. Mm-hmm. No matter in what avenue it is, whether it's self, whether it's with a couple, I would love for you just to be able to live in your truth yeah. and identify with what makes you happy because mm-hmm. that goes back to what we were talking about with self-care. Self-care mm-hmm. and self-love go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. And you can't really truly love yourself mm-hmm. if you're not being your greatest self. True. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that would be, if to answer your question, I would be to, I would say to let go of certain shameful Thoughts, ideas, ideations that mm. hold you back from being your true self. Mm. And my very ignorant spin on that will be like, if you nasty, fuck it, be nasty. Yeah. Listen. That's not, <laughs> that's not ignorant. <laughs> I'm telling therapist. you. <laughs> a lot, and you know what's crazy? A lot of times, what you may think is nasty mm-hmm. is like basic to other people. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm telling you, that's right. it's, it's basic. Like right. you be like, oh, that's it. Like that's what <laughs> you. Word. You, like, you, yeah. you, you be like, yeah, like, what's ever, something you ever wanted to try? Like, you be like, oh, what? Yeah, no. I, I, like, like, bite your nails. <laughs> Everybody um, look a little booty, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I was gonna say. Amazing. What were you gonna say? Lick booty. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> no way.